Okay, this is my third update. So I snow last night and snow for the past few days. And let's go up into my aquaponic greenhouse see what's going on. Actually snow right now. Okay. This up first. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Everything still look good. In the winter, I bring most of my plant inside the greenhouse. So in the summer, it doesn't look as cramped as, as cramped like this. But here right now, it look really cramped because I bring most of the plant, my potted plant, from the outside inside the greenhouse, so it would survive. Um, now. Because it's winter, I don't grow a lot of stuff. I grew a lot of like a uh, lot of cilantro, some lettuce, and that's pretty much it actually. Because you know they grow pretty well in the winter. So look at this lettuce, really big lettuce. Cilantro is looking good. Here's lettuce and cilantro. I just pretty much throw the seed down and then. A girl, and then I just pluck, and then it's when they get so thick, I just uproot them and then transplant them into like here. And you can see like kind of row and, and columns. Here is my Meyer lemons, which I have a Meyer lemons right here. You guys can see it right here. Yep, I I use that a lot actually. <laughs> Outside right now is actually 13 degrees. Inside is about see here 60 degrees actually. I have a space heater in here and it's an oil lamp heater. And for the past two days I have to turn on to the maximum was which is very wasteful, but you know it's been 14 degrees outside, so you have to turn on the maximum. If you can look at the wall outside, it's been just frozen outside. But inside here is pretty still pretty good. My fish is still doing good. My broth bed is still doing good, I guess. See here, still doing good. More cilantro, more lettuce and salad. Um, see here, this bed. Actually, I'm not using this bed right now because it cracked on me right here. See right here. So I want to talk to patch it up and fix it when spring come. Put more stuff. And as you remember the last video, there's a lot of vine climbing like cucumbers over here. So those are all gone. Um, my fish is still doing good. Still doing good. I mean, they're still in there. Growing. I checked the temp for this water is about 38 degrees. So not that bad. I'm still going on. And that's pretty much it. Nothing changed a lot except for a hydro vortex in there, a hydro cyclone in there that I installed. And you can tell the water's flowing in a circle. Um, come spring, when I take this plant out here, I can explain to you more about it. It's really cool to add more oxygen to the water. It's one of the best way actually to add more oxygen to the water, most effectively. And you know, you don't have to require any power at all. Here's a space heater. Um, I do have to clean out the tank, I mean the filter from time to time, but that's really easy how to do it. And come spring, I'll show you how I, I do it. And then that should be it. So this is the third update for my greenhouse. Outside, remember though, outside is actually 13 degrees. In here is 60. So before the winter, I have to seal up all the greenhouse, patch all the holes um, with duct tape, of course. And it gets so cold that it fell off. But hey, it's still it's it's still okay. We're still doing good. I have two tent here, a fish tank that I don't use. So I put them in here. Add in some water to store the heat during the day and release it during at night so it won't be that bad. 
So, I mean, you know, in this in this system, I have about a thousand gallons of water at least. So it also store in heat, and then at night release them too. And for this heater here, most of the time I turn it on low, so I don't use that much wattage of power. And then I only I set a timer on it to turn it only from not at, at night. So in the day when there's sun, uh, it won't turn on. So at night it turn on. And that pretty much it. That's what keeps this greenhouse alive. This heater here. And it's not that you know it's not cost effective, but it worked really well. You know if you just set it where you know maintain the temp uh, about 40 to 50. Because all this stuff here, it don't require a lot of heat. I mean, it grow real well in the cold. And my plant here, I'm still eating from them. And I think this is called like a kumquat or something like that. I don't know what it's called. But hey, we're doing good. So again, lettuce. This is my papaya plant. It didn't survive because I guess when it's like out there next to a wall, get really cold and they like to be you know in warm weather so they didn't survive pretty much it thank you so much for watching if you have any questions just leave a comment and I will try my best to log in often to um, reply your comment but this is how I maintain my greenhouse right now I look very shabby and ugly and very well let's see cramped but in the spring, I'll take all this potted plant out and then, you know, bring them to the front of my house. And then this will be clean, nice, all better again. And then I can grow more crops, more different kind of vegetables, um, vine climbing stuff too. And all of this will be all green again. This here. And all this will be all green and luscious. But hey, this is 14 degrees, 13 degrees outside. And in here, stuff is still growing. So, I mean, you can't complain. So let me go out again, show you guys what's looked like outside. So it's pretty cold outside. Pretty cold outside right now. And this is my rank, uh, the five gallon bucket. And I took out the old filter and I changed to a new one, which I will show you guys, you know, in, in spring about it it's a really effective way to filter now and so and thank you so much guys you have a good day god bless